Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a car spawner GUI in Roblox Studio where you can spawn multiple cars and purchase them while it saves. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to publish the game to Roblox. So I'm going to name this game Car Spawner Game. I'm going to just save it and now that it has saved, I'm going to go to Game Settings go to security and enable studio access to API services. This will be for data saving. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is create our leader stats script. So create a script, name this script leader stats and insert the first script I have linked in the description in the paste bin. This is the leader stats script. Basically what we're doing is we are creating the leader stats for our coins value and the own cars folder for all of our cars. So in the own cars folder, we have Boolean values for each individual car. And it is going to be checked to true if it's owned and false if it's not owned. And it's gonna be saved. So it starts off false and when you buy it, it becomes true. Now what we're going to do is insert the cars. I'm going to use this jailbreak cars pack right here since this is what I found easiest to use. You can use whatever you want, but it needs to have four cars unless you know how to edit it. So just click get model and insert it into studio. All right, now that I've inserted the pack of cars, what I want you to do is rename each one of them or most of them. So this one that's called chassis, I want you to rename that to cool car because that's what I have it scripted as. I'm going to want you to name this one to Mustang. Might not be a Mustang, but that's what I think it looks like. And change DeLorean V1 to just DeLorean. Now go to replicated storage and create two folders. Name the first one RES for remote events. And name the second one Cars. Now select each one of these and pull them into the Cars folder. Now we're going to do remote events. Create a remote event and name the first one spawn. And then, so we're going to do each car. So cool car. It's important that you name everything the same way that I do. Now duplicate it and do spawn DeLorean. Duplicate that one and do spawn Mustang. And duplicate that one for the final one and do spawn s13 those are the remote events and cars and now we are going to do our gui so i'm going to speed this up real quick while i create it and you can create your own i'll tell you the key important details once i finish it's not going to be very fancy All right, now I have finished the GUI and I'm going to show you what to name everything. So this one is going to be called Cool Car Spawn. The next one will be named DeLorean Spawn. The next one will be named Mustang Spawn. The final one will be named S13 Spawn. Now we'll name this one Spawn Button GUI Close. We'll name this one 
spawn button GUI open. Now this screen GUI will name car spawn GUI. This one will name open, open GUI. Now create a script in spawn button GUI open a local script and just copy the script that I'm doing now Now copy the script and create a local script in spawn button GUI close and copy paste it. Now really quickly just to ensure that it works I'm going to test to see. Yes it works. Perfect. Now we are going to go to the part where we click the buttons and it fires a one of the remote events. So create a local script in car spawner GUI and name it to car spawn handler. Copy and paste the script labeled as car spawn handler in the link in the description. All right, now that we have pasted it, I'll tell you what it does. It gets the remote events and it gets the buttons. When you click the button, it fires the remote event and it makes the GUI disappear for aesthetics. Now go to server script service, create a script and name the script spawn car. Now paste the script linked in the description in the pavement labeled as spawn car script. Paste it and I'll explain really quickly what it does. We get the remote events and I'll just explain the spawn cool car one. <laughs> So we spawn the car. So, so when the remote event is fired, where right here, we fire it, spawn cool car. When you click the button, it checks to see if you own the car. And if you don't, it checks to see if you have enough money to buy it. If you do, it takes away the coin. So essentially you buy it and it changes the value of own cars to true. And then here it just spawns it. And some people might not want to know why I make the human eye jump. It's important because for some reason, if I just respawn the car, it makes the player walk weirdly. So I just added this to fix it. And here else, if you do own it, it does the same thing, except it doesn't take away your cash right here. That is essentially the entire script. Now, actually, just to make sure that you can buy the cars, go back to leader stats and scroll down to line 45 and where it says Coins that value equals zero, change it to one 300. Don't forget to go back to start a GUI, click car spawn GUI, and set enable to false. That way when you join the game, it is not visible. I just noticed one small error. Go to RES, spawn DeLorean, and change this uppercase L to a lowercase L. All right, now that I have joined the game, if you're wondering what this block is and what these error are, I just needed to give myself some cash. But if I click spawn, cool car, the cool car spawns. And I could drive it. I could jump out. And I also purchased it. If you go to players, JK113, own cars, cool cars, see that this value is set to true and these are set to false and if I spawn the DeLorean it'll take away my cash and this is set to true and it spawns it and I can spawn it again or the Mustang I spawned the Mustang and now I own the Mustang and this saves so if I leave and rejoin the game it saves thank you guys for watching I really do put a lot of effort and cheese into these videos and I'd really appreciate it if you guys could just subscribe to show your support. Thanks for watching.